Okay, we're in the surrogate orbiting the Earth, and we're going to bring up transects, both sides, and escape forward. And we want to choose Mars. We'll click View for the eject plan. Prograde is up. We're going to add some prograde. The idea is to get it so that we're out somewhere near uh, the orbit of Mars. Now variable, advance the date. And uh, that looks pretty close. Looks like we're arriving on a node, which is very convenient. And we want to see what we've got here as far as uh, our distance. We'll back off some prograde. It's getting closer. And it went too far. That looks good there. And we'll play with the date. That's not working. Let's try some outward. Seems to be getting better. And we'll go back to some prograde. That looks pretty close. Maybe outward again. Relatively speaking, we're pretty close. And what we want to do now is look at the date. We've got 55121. And we need to remember that. Also, we want to look at the orientation. This is the uh, periapsis uh, of our trajectory to head off. Now, if we were going to drop from the moon, the moon would have to be opposite the periapsis. And we'd be dropping in from the moon, arriving here. So the trick is we want to have the moon in that direction going out there. So if you laid a, uh, a straight edge, a piece of paper's edge, along this dashed line, you'd see that it extends out somewhere right about here. So let's remember that point there. So now what we're going to do is choose our ship that's sitting on the moon, escape forward, and we want eject and we're going to set up a minus value of prograde so we can drop in and we also want to now go to date and look at this it's uh we're quite a bit behind it so we're going to advance the date around and around remember we were looking for about 55121 however remember it takes about 5 days to drop to um, uh, from the moon down to the earth. So ideally this is the date we would leave, which is right about now. Uh, so, but the orientation, the moon is here. Remember we wanted to have it so that the moon was looking out about here. So the moon needs to be about here, not here. So let's go ahead and advance this up to about where we want it. And notice the time, uh, the date is almost 118. So let's just say if we what we want to do now is change the date of arriving at the Earth to be more like about four and a half days later, approximately. So let's just say uh, uh, that would be 55122.5. So we'll go back to the surrogate and modify the plan. And so we wanted to bring that forward to about 122.5, approximately. Just for round. Now it's off a bit, so we're going to play with these. I'm going to click outward. It's reducing. I'm going to increase the value. And that looks good. Like it's getting closer, maybe too much. And we'll come back with some prograde. And maybe outward again. and some prograde, maybe some outward. Wow, close. And there we are, that's that Mars. So back. Let's check. We've got our date, which is about what we want to match where the moon was at that time. And we're going to verify again to see how much this has moved. It's not moved too much. It's still pointing approximately at the right location. 
And so we're going to now advance the date up to about, uh, oh, let's just say about a day and a half before, uh, or a day before we actually leave the moon. And just to verify, we're going to look at the moon. The ship on the moon is going to leave at 117.9. So let's go to like uh, approximately 117.0. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, shut this video off and then pick it up. I'll advance the date and pick up after it's been advanced.